Okay, here we go. What should we expect from God? I'm taking this video in the rain because the Bible tells us a time of uh, rain and latter rain, being the blessings of God being poured out on the earth. And in the, the last days, we are expecting, every Christian is expecting an extreme movement of God. And having the times of, a, of our lives and the, seeing the things of God move like it did in the days of Christ, and like it did in the days of uh, Noah and Isaiah, seeing the works of God literally poured out on the earth. That's what it says in Joel chapter 2. It says, I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. I will cause your sons and your daughters to prophesy. Your sons and your daughters. Now in the, in the Bible, the reason why it says that is because um, because it's, it's a it's a meaning of extreme extreme pouring out because when it references the daughters there it's talking about uh, pouring out upon uh, one who has never been poured out before because in the Bible it, it was always written that that uh, women were not preachers and that even in a time of punishment Israel was sent a woman prophet and the Lord told them there that that was a reason it was done that way and so this is a time of extreme poor and and what I want to say is is this what should we expect from God hey I'm preaching this sermon you can do the next one <laughs> and what should we expect from God? Expect exactly more than your flesh will allow you to expect. You know what I mean? Expect more than what your flesh will allow you to think of. <laughs> Pastor, where we go to church, is always saying that if you have lost your vision, you will never make headway in God. People that lose their vision have no uh, they have no hope of the future. That's what he's saying. They have no hope of the future when they have lost their vision for God. Expecting more than you would ever expect before from going forth of your journey uh, which they said uh, every journey starts with the first step some people never get brave enough to take that first step boy as a matter of fact the first step of a long journey man is the hardest one to go I mean you get tired on the rest of them but yeah, the journey takes place in the heart. And you, you have to expect things coming. Expect blessings at the end. Boy, you know something? I love to take vacation my life. My wife loves to take vacation. Man, we get ready to go. And we have a good time. But we know that there's a journey between us. We know there's a battle. And a suffering that we have to face to get to that place where we need to go to the pouring out of the things of God and, and truthfully it is you know if you don't expect it if you never expect it man you'll never get to that place where it says that you will be uh, going you know as we're taking this journey here today going down a road you can see the highway man how the people are on this here four lane going through Indiana that how that we are on a trip we're going someplace we're expected to have something at the at the end of this journey and it's a blessing being poured out God has 
we have suffered the battle, man. I went, I went out and worked hard for a check, and now, and the money to spend that we may, may take this journey. And this is what you have to do. You work for it, you get to the place, you believe God for the blessing, and you step in to that place where God's glory is being poured out. And expect God. Expect more than your flesh will allow you to uh, even think or imagine. And when you can do that, then you're in the place where God can really bless your life. Amen. There's a battle to be fought. There's a there's an enemy to stand uh, in confrontation with. You know, the devil is not going to just let you roll over and claim something that he has his name on. All righty. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you again next time. Another great blessing right here, Crossing the Middle Ministry.